Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Kurt Ashing Adventures. And for today's video, we are sharing you our itinerary during our Singapore and Malaysia trip. We took a late night flight by a Jetstar Asia going to Singapore, and we arrived at Changi Airport around 1 a.m. We just decided to stay in the airport and find a place to rest while waiting for the G-Wall to open. Our official day one starts at 6 a.m. and we decided to have our breakfast at Toast Box. Our next stop is the Rain Vortex in the Jewel. After exploring the Jewel, we decided to go to our hotel to check in, which is the Mercure Hotel, Boogie Singapore. After a few hours of rest, our next stop is the Singapore Arts and Science Museum. Next, we walk across the Helix Bridge to try the famous ice cream wafer sandwich. We had our early dinner at Makan Sutra. and head to the Merlion Park for some photo op. For day 2, we started a day by walking across the Stagosa Boardwalk going to Universal Studios. We only took some photos outside Universal Studios because we don't have enough time to explore the park. Our next stop is the Luge. After two rounds at Luge, we went to Siloso Beach for a photo op. In the afternoon, we went to Tiger Brewery that we get for free using Singapore Rewards. We cup off our night with a good tasting beer at Tiger Brewery Pub. Our next stop for the day is the Gardens by the Bay and we head up to the OCBC Sky Bridge. Then for the final stop of the day, we head to IMM Outlet Mall in Jurong East for some shopping. Little India to have our brunch. Arab Street and Haji Lane. In the afternoon, we check out from our hotel and bid goodbye to some of our travel buddies because they're heading back to the Philippines. And for us, it's time to travel to Malaysia. Shabazz going to Woodlands Checkpoint going to Johor Bahru. After immigration, we hailed a taxi going to our next hotel which is the Ibis style Iskander Puteri 
in Johor Bahru. This day is also our laundry day. For day 5, we check out from our hotel and head to our next destination which is the Legoland Hotel. Checking in, we head to Legoland Park. Legoland Hotel. Day 6, we had our breakfast at Legoland Hotel and then head to the Legoland Water Park. We enjoyed swimming and a lot of slides. going to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We checked in at Nobotel, Kuala Lumpur City Center. On day 7, we had to Petronas Tower. Battle Caves. KL Tower. For day 8, it's Genting Highlands Tour. At night, we went to Kalan Alor for our dinner. That we booked through Club going to Japanese Garden and Colmar Tropical. It is very convenient to book through Club because you just have to show your mobile voucher and everything is set for you. So if you have travel plans, you can also book through Club and use my promo code HECKLECLUB for more discounts. we decided to go to Petronas Tower and see its beauty at night. We also watched the Dancing Fountain Show. And then walk across the street to visit the Saloma Bridge. For our dinner, we had to Jollibee in Bukit Binta. Day 10 is the last day of this trip so we just enjoyed the amenities of our hotel, the swimming pool, and the lounge. And sadly, we have to go to the airport to catch our flight going back to Manila. We rode the Clia Express which is the fastest way going to Kuala Lumpur International Airport. And again, we book our tickets through Klook and for hassle-free booking, Book your travel needs through Cloak and use my promo code HECKLECLOAK. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. And don't forget to follow us at Facebook page, TikTok, and subscribe to our channel, Kurt Ashing Adventure, where adventure never ends.